everyone. I'm going to go over 2020 week 34 workout Wednesday solution. Can you show all crimes within X miles of Y location? Just a recap. This is what the visualization looks like. So we have a switch between Buckingham Palace and St. Paul's and we can say how many miles we want as our radius. The colours are banded per 10 metres um, distance between all of these so and the tooltip gives you the um, number of crimes over the time period and in the LSOA crime area so let's get some key steps going over so as a blank worksheet we have our latitude and longitude for each one of our crimes but for Tableau to use it we need to create a um, crime point so if I go to create a new calculated field and just call this crime point and in here, what we can say is um, we want to use the make point feature from latitude to longitude. Ooh, let me put it in the right place and click. So from here, we have our make point latitude and longitude. If I click OK, and now if I double click on here, what's going to happen is it's going to visualize all of the crimes within our data set. But if I hover over one, you'll see that it all just kind of highlights together because we've not told Tableau how we want to define that. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to focus in on a particular area. So I already have my parameter, which is my switch between my two, um, two locations, Buckingham Palace and St. Paul's. I already have the make point for St. Paul's and Buckingham Palace and also my location switch. So now I just need to do the distance in miles. So if I create a new calculated field and just call this distance miles. So in here, we can just use the calculation distance and our start is our location switch. Our end point is our crime point and we want to do it in miles. So this will give us our distance. I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to create a true false just to say um, we want that five mile radius distance true false and if I just show my miles parameter it's literally just um, 1 to 10 uh, with miles in between so all we say is we want our distance miles to be less than or equal to our miles I'm going to click OK and now if I put that onto my filters and I select true it's going to filter back into just that um, central location of London. I still have the issue that all the crimes are grouped together. So here we can add crime ID to our detail. So once I've added crime ID, just give it a second to load. There's a lot of points to load here. Um, you can see now we have all of our individual crime IDs in here. So we have all of that, but I'm also going to exclude the null crime IDs. So we have a little bit of a better map. So now we have um, our main radial map. We need the color banding. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new calculated field, which is distance in meters. So here we're going to say distance. And again, we're going to use that same calculation that we did before. So we're going to have the location switch and the crime point. And this time we're just going to say in meters. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to create a bin. So we're going to right click again, create bins. This allows Tableau to group together those particular meters. So what we want is we want a size of 10. And we're going to click OK. So this is going to create our bin in our tables at the top. Now if I add this to color, what's going to happen is Tableau is going to uh, process this and give us a range of colors going from in to out. So if I edit my colors now and I'm going to choose hue circle and I'm going to click assign. Once I click OK you'll see that my colors now update to my target. I'm just going to reduce the size of the dots so that we can um, see them all a little bit better so they're not stacked on top of each other. Just give that a second to catch up. Oh, 
Okay, and now what the final thing that we want to do is we want our lo mid location point. So what we can do here is if I duplicate my latitude, this is going to uh, duplicate that field. But on my secondary um, latitude, we want to remove, we want to change it to our location switch. So if I put my location switch on and I take off my distance and I also take off my crime ID. So this gives us that one particular point in the middle. So I'm just going to up the size of this one and I'm also going to change it to white. We can then right click and we can dual axes which is then going to put that central point in the middle for us. Finally, we can go to our map layers and we want to change this to a dark map and then also just change the opacity just a little bit so it's a little bit lighter for us. So here is our sort of final view of our map and um, now we just need our tooltip. So what we can do here is we want to do uh, by month and then we want the um, count distinct of crime ID so option drag count distinct and you can see this over time so I'm just going to hit this line and then we're just going to label the min and the max show mark labels again you can format this however you like I'm just going to unshow the header um, and then back onto our sheet one if I go to my latitude first one and if I add this um, as a option if I go insert sheet sheet 2 this time what I'm going to do um, actually before I do that uh, I'm going to click OK but I'm just going to add LSOA name to detail hit OK and now when I go into my tooltip I'm going to change this all fields to be my LSOA name and I'm just going to change it to 600 by 600 just to make sure and I'm going to click OK here and then we're going to repeat the same but for this time what we're going to do on our secondary axes is add sheet 2 and we're just going to say for all the fields which is nothing so hopefully this will give us our correct answer so now when I hover over um, let me let me go back and actually change the size again because we don't quite want it 600 height so I'm just going to change it back to 300 now whenever I, I try and ho hover over my St Paul's so let's try and make this bigger again so that we can actually try and hover over it. You'll see that the view is too large to show because I didn't change it, but it gives you the overall picture of the number of crimes in this five mile radius. I just need to actually add in my true false as well so that it does just focus in on that five miles. So there is the dashboard, the, the sheet itself. You can then just pull in the dashboard and create those extra little steps of putting the filters in the right place and the titles. Thank you all for listening. I um, hope you enjoyed this WOW um, workout for this week. Uh, do take a look at the next week's session.